Hi everyone. So today I wanted to start doing a weekly check-in on our grocery budget uh, so that we could help keep ourselves on track and hope that we meet the $150 a week every week. And hopefully maybe it'll give you guys some ideas or some motivation to try and stick to your grocery budget, whatever that budget is that you're following for your family. So we do $150 a week grocery budget for a family of five. I saw a calculation somewhere for like a frugal grocery budget um, and it was $100 um, per, per family member per month and then you divide that out by four. So technically that comes to $125. I've never been able to get it under, that, that I've never been able to get it to $125. Usually $150 is what I've been pretty good with. So I decided to allow myself to do the $150 per week. So there's five of us, there's two adults, three teenagers. So it's basically like feeding five adults, really, on $150. And that does include things like paper towels, toilet paper, dishwasher detergent, laundry detergent. All of those household items are all included in that grocery budget. So I do have to kind of move things around on weeks where, say, if I need like paper towels or toilet paper, which I get from BJ, so I would say like, I don't know, between 15 to $20, depending on what it is for that one item, I'll play around with the grocery budget to maybe not get a few things that week so that I can fit in the toilet paper, paper towels or whatever, or maybe that's a week that I don't need a lot of meat because I already have some in the freezer, things like that, but I definitely play with the budget to try the very best I can to stick within that $150 budget. So um, the first thing that I do is I go into my meal planning app, like I talked about in one of my other episodes. I do my meal plan for the week. Then I load in my list into my uh, app, which is called IntelliList, and that has all the prices in it. So, um, well, before I put the things into IntelliList, first I go around and I check um, what I have. I look at the meal planning app that I use is called Meal Board. And um, like I said in previous episodes, I'm getting nothing for mentioning these apps. I just really like using them. So the Meal Board app creates a grocery list for you based on the meals that you have in your plan for that week. So I look at the list, I go around my house, I check my freezer to see what meat we already have, um, what uh, you know staples we already have, canned goods, things like that. And then after I'm left with what I need, I'll make my grocery list in the IntelliList app. And the reason I use that is because I've already had the prices loaded in there. I don't update them, you know, like as I'm, as the prices change, I don't update them. But it gives me a good enough idea of approximately how much the items cost and what my list is looking like in total before I go grocery shopping. So that's really the most important part to sticking to your budget is to know before you're going out there about how much these items are gonna add up to. Because if you just go without any number in mind and you buy everything, there's no way to know if you're gonna come in on budget. So that was huge for me in finally getting this budget under control. So the app has it like by store. So you could say, okay, how much, if you shop at multiple stores, some people shop at one. I shop at Aldi. And BJ's. I used to shop at ShopRite too, which I probably will again, um, but I'm recording this during the pandemic. So the grocery stores are just kind of weird where we live right now. You don't know what you're going to get. You want to stay in them as little as possible and go to as little um, number of stores as possible. Um, but when I did go to ShopRite, it wasn't for um, my regular like groceries that were on my list. I used to go into ShopRite once a week. I would just stop in real quick because at the front of the store, they had this like clearance section and it would be stuff that was like, I guess, marked that it had to be sold that day. And it would be like sometimes super cheap, like 75% off, 50% off. Um, they'd have like bread that would be like a quarter, like just really, really super cheap things. And they were going to expire that day. Um, but some of them you could use that day or some of them were even things you could freeze. So I would do that to just kind of supplement um, and find some just fun different stuff that we wouldn't typically get. Um, and then I'd bring it home and sometimes we would wind up having it for dinner that night rather than whatever I originally had on my meal plan. And then we could save that meal plan for another night. So we'd save money because we'd wind up having like this really super cheap meal from the clearance items and then be able to move that other meal that was already on my grocery list to another week. So anyway, right now I'm only going to Aldi and um, BJ's right now. So I have in my shopping uh, app, my the IntelliList app, I have the 
um, Aldi in there, what I need from Aldi, and what I need to get from BJ's. So and I, at some point when I first started doing this, I did check to see who had the better price um, for the certain items, Aldi or BJ's, or if they even had it at one or the other. And then that way I got it at whoever, whichever store had the better price for that item. So once you have your list um, together and you're going to head out to the grocery store, um, you know, just kind of keep in mind if your budget's looking really tight, um, just don't buy any extra things like snacks and things like that. I just kind of grab what they have. I don't really specifically have those on my list, like fruit, snacks, things like that. Certain ones like bananas and clementines I get every week, but other ones I just get whatever um, I might see, grab a bag of apples, grab a couple mangoes, things like that. But if I know I have a super tight budget, I really hold off on grabbing any of those extra things except for what's on my list. But if you know in your mind that this week you have a little bit more leeway in your budget, then you can know you can maybe pick up a couple extra snacks or something different for that week to try. So I went grocery shopping on Thursday. Um, I always go on Thursdays for the upcoming week, which I start my meal plan for Saturday. So I shop from Saturday through that following Friday. That way, since I shop on Thursdays, if for some reason I'm just not able to go shopping that Thursday, which doesn't usually happen, but you know, if something comes up, I'll know that at least I still already have purchased all the food through that Friday. So that's how I do it. Um, so this week I went to Aldi and BJ's, like I said, and I'm gonna do a little grocery haul and tell you what I got and uh, what my grand total came to. So first I went to Aldi. I got, um, they have frozen sushi there. My daughter um, is vegetarian, so I'm always trying to buy, well, she's a pescatarian, so she'll eat um, seafood. So I'm always trying to find stuff for her, and she actually really likes the frozen sushi at Aldi. It's the, um, like the California roll one. I thought it would be really gross at first. The thought of frozen sushi sounded so gross, but it's actually really good. So that's only um, that that's a little bit more expensive, but it's five dollars and eighty nine cents. But it does come with I think fifteen little sushi sushi rolls in it, so you get like three servings out of it. And when school when they were actually going to school, she would take that take five of those with her for lunch. And um, she's in middle school, so, you know, she thought she was fancy with her little sushi rolls for lunch. But it's actually a pretty good deal when you look at it that way. I had a little extra money in my budget this week, so I bought, um, they had like this little frozen box of mini beef empanadas. We haven't tried them yet, um, but those were $4.49, which is a little bit more expensive for, it was just kind of like a small little like appetizer type box. But I figured, I knew I had a little extra money. It looked like something fun to try. So I bought those for $4.49. I bought a box of Aldi's pierogies. I always get those. Um, they're pretty good. They're just like your average small um, size of like a box of pierogies like you would get in the regular grocery store. Not like one of the big like BJ's type bags, but just like a regular small little box. And those are $2.39. My kids like those um, just for like if for something to eat if there's not anything else around or leftovers or anything like that. And then I always get a bag of their cheese ravioli too. That's $2.49. And that's for a 25 ounce bag, just for reference. I, I have some of the um, sizes, which I will tell you, but I didn't unfortunately get all of the sizes of all the items. I do always get their salsa at BJ's. It's really good. It's um, I don't know the size on that, but that's kind of like your typical, like a Tostitos type jar of sauce that you uh, salsa or cheese that you would get. It's that size, and it's a dollar ninety nine, and it's actually really good. We get, I think it's like the black bean and corn one we get from Aldi, so it's pretty good. Um, we also always get their coffee creamer there. It's a dollar seventy nine for a quart, um, and I got two of those. I got two different flavors: a French vanilla and like an Italian cream. Uh, so those were a dollar seventy nine each. I also get their um, Greek yogurt. Um, those are like the flips, like they're kind of like the Chobani flips, but they're only 59 cents and they're really, really good. So I get those every week. Um, I probably got, I didn't write down how many I got, but I'm saying usually I get about six of those and those are only 59 cents each. And then they also have like a regular little Greek yogurt that's not the flips. Um, you know, it's just like a fruit on the bottom type of Greek yogurt. And those are 59 cents each also. 
So that's a really good price for those yogurts. And I got two of those also. I got, I needed um, sour cream. So I got a um, 16 ounce uh, tub of light sour cream. That was only 85 cents. Sorry, my dog is barking. I'm gonna have to pause and read pick up here. Okay, so that was interesting. When I, I had to pause the episode because my dog started barking like crazy. We have two little um, two little uh, rescue dogs that we have. One of them's like a Datsun Terrier mix and the other one is a Chihuahua and um, like a, I forget what they call it, a Manchester Terrier mix. And they, they bark. There's a lot of people walking now lately because of the uh, quarantine. Uh, I'm recording this during the coronavirus um, pandemic and a lot of people are walking now so every time someone walks by my dogs have to go crazy so the funny thing is anyway when i was playing back the audio to try and stop it after they started barking so i could pause the episode and start up again when they heard the barking they went nuts and started barking again so i had to wait a little, a little bit for them to uh calm down and then i actually wound up just putting them outside for a little bit because they they're all riled up now so anyway, I think the last thing that I was talking about was the, um, oh shoot, where was I? Yeah, the, the creamer. So I had got the creamer, I got the yogurt, I talked about that, sour cream. Oh, another thing we, oh, we get at Aldi, which is the almond milk. We get the unsweetened vanilla flavored almond milk. That's only $1.65. And keep in mind, I'm buying all the Aldi brand items. Um, they, they do sell a few name brands, but for the most part, it's their brand. But we find they're just as good as the name brand. And it's helped us immensely stay within our budget when I found Aldi and started shopping there. So the almond milk is for a half a gallon and it's $1.65. So I got two of those because our family goes through a lot of almond milk. We use it for coffee, for smoothies and things like that. Um, I bought a package, a 13 ounce, I'm sorry, not a 13 ounce, a 12 ounce bag of um, chocolate chips like you would buy like the semi-sweet morsels like to make cookies my daughter asked me to pick up a bag I'm, I'm guessing she wants to bake cookies or something like that so I got one of those that was a dollar 69 I needed a cream of mushroom soup for a recipe that was only 49 cents a can of black beans that was only 49 cents um, I got a box of frozen churros I'm not sure what size they were but again it was just like a small like appetizer type box like you would buy in the grocery store and um, it was like cinnamon frozen churros. It just looked like something fun. They were three twenty nine. I figured for my kids, just for something different, they get excited when I kind of bring home something that is different than the normal grocery thing. So I knew I had a little extra budget this week, so I um, got that for three dollars and twenty nine cents. I bought two um, packages of like the chopped frozen spinach. I have a couple of recipes that I use that in. Um, vegetable lasagna is one of them that I use the frozen chopped spinach in and Aldi doesn't normally sell it so I didn't actually need it but whenever I do need it I usually have to make a special trip to go to the regular grocery store because Aldi doesn't normally have it and BJ's doesn't usually have it either so I didn't need those this week but I decided to grab two just so that I had them in the freezer so that I didn't have to make a special trip in the future when I needed it and those are a dollar nine each um, Aldi sells like a it's called it's as a it's called like steamed Asian blends. I think you can steam them actually, but I never do. But they have like a broccoli stir fry um, frozen bag, and I always get that to use to make like a, um, I'll do like a vegetable stir fry or um, I've put. I mean, I've used them in other recipes, but pretty much I, I use it when I'm gonna do like a like a fried rice recipe for the week. So that's only a dollar seventy nine. And I didn't write down the size on that one. I'm not sure of the size, but it's just like you're a regular like family serving of vegetables, like a regular like bag of like frozen vegetables, the, the typical like standard size. That was $1.79. I got a bag of frozen mozzarella. That was a one pound bag of frozen mozzarella, shredded mozzarella. That was two seventy five. And I got a um, let's see how much the, the cheddar is not as big. It's on a pound. It's 11 ounces. So I got a bag of the shredded cheddar, which is $2.49. 
I also got a bag of green peppers. They sell them kind of like in a bag of three, and that's two nineteen. I use them in some recipes. I also sometimes feed them to our guinea pigs. We have guinea pigs, so as part of our grocery shopping list too, I also always have to make sure I get fresh vegetables for the guinea pigs. So you'll find some of these, a couple of these vegetable items are for the guinea pigs, or sometimes they're mix and match. I use them for us or for them if they need them. I also got, um, they have like the chewy granola bars. I forget what size box that is. I, I threw the box out already, so I can't check, but you get a decent amount of granola bars in there. It's only $1.09. So I always get those. Those are kind of like the chewy and it's like a variety pack. So there's like, you know, three different varieties or whatever in there. I got a bag of everything bagels. Um, that was a bag of six. That was only $1.49. I bought a box of their instant brown rice which is only 20, I'm sorry, which is 28 ounces and it's $2.89. And I use that for um, one night a week. I do like a quick, not one night a week, but every other week I do like a Chipotle night where I kind of make all the Chipotle bowl type ingredients, including the instant brown rice being one of them. And it's, it's really like a super quick meal that I don't have to spend a lot of time on. So I get their instant brown rice and I can just cook it real quick in the microwave while I'm broiling up some chicken, heating up black beans and stuff putting out cheddar cheese and stuff like that and it makes for a really quick meal so that was two dollars and 89 cents um then i also got some crunchy granola bars again that was just like a normal granola bar type size box i don't know the exact measurement but that was only a dollar 35 i needed some vegetable oil um which we, we actually don't really go through that often but i needed it because my daughter made homemade churros um about a week ago or so and she fried them like she deep fried them in a pot so she used up with the, the vegetable oil that we had left so that was a 48 ounce um jar or bottle of vegetable oil that was a dollar 69. i got some honey crisp apples for the kids again that was kind of one of those things i just grab extra um that was a two pound bag those were 309. Those are always kind of expensive, but the kids really like them. I don't get them all the time, just when I know I have enough in the budget to grab a bag. So those were 309 for the honey crisp apples. And then I got um, two mangoes, which were 95 cents each. I got some strawberry preserves and a strawberry fruit spread. Those were $1.79 and $1.99 each. And then I got a trail mix. It was like, uh, I think it was like almond, dark chocolate, and maybe some other nut. That was $5.49. So again, that's one of the higher price items. That's something I would probably skip if I was um, trying to, if I knew I was tight on my budget and I was afraid of not coming in on budget. But I had enough this week. Um, and my husband really likes the trail mix, so I grabbed a bag of that. I got, um, what else did we get here? Oh, I got a, a bag of mini avocados. I'm not sure how many you get in there. I think maybe it's like six, five or six, something like that. I normally get the regular avocados, which they have pretty cheap at Aldi. But for some reason lately, I don't know with the pandemic and everything, that avocados have either been like they have a bunch or they have none. They either have like a ton or none. And they haven't had the regular ones. So I grabbed the mini ones and that was $2.59. I got a can of um, peaches in, um, it's like canned peaches and like light syrup. My son likes those just to kind of have around for a snack. Oh, and mandarin oranges too, um, in like in the light, uh, in like the light syrup or whatever. I think it says like in very light syrup or something, extra light syrup or something like that. Um, the mandarin oranges were 75 cents and the peaches were 95 cents for a can. I got a package of broccoli crowns that was $1.35. I guess you get like two kind of sections in, in the bag of the broccoli crowns for $1.35. And then they have this artisan lettuce. It's just kind of like these cute little like lettuce heads. So you get like two of them in a package. One's red and one's green. And it's just kind of nice to just like cut up real quick and make a really quick salad. Or um, I use that for my guinea pigs too. They didn't have any romaine lettuce. I usually get, you know, they have like the bag of like the three romaine lettuce heads in a bag. I usually get that for my guinea pigs, but they didn't have that this week. So I actually wound up buying the artisan lettuce for the guinea pigs. Um, so I got two packages of those. They're $1.89 each. Oh, then I also got a box of protein bars. I know I got a lot of granola bars this week, but my family goes through them a lot so they have like their version of like the protein granola bars and again it's just like your normal size box of granola bars like you would get in the grocery store those are a dollar 75. i got um regatta cheese i believe that was 
15, 15 ounces, 16 ounces, I think 15 ounces, something like that. $1.69 for that. I got a little bag of baby carrots. It was 95 cents. I got a Nutella. It's like, it's called hazelnut spread. It's like Aldi's version of Nutella. That was $1.89 and that's 13 ounces. I got a little, um, a small little Gouda cheese. I'm not sure the size of it, but it's just like one of those like little small round ones, smoked Gouda for $2.99. We had some crackers left over from like a week or two ago. We were on vacation, but we were home because of the pandemic. So we were just kind of home. So I thought it'd be fun to do like cheese and crackers. So we still had a bunch of crackers left. So I figured I'd get a little thing of the cheese. That way the kids could do like cheese and crackers one day if they wanted a snack. And then I always get a bag of the Clementines or just like that that regular, again, I don't know the size, but it's like that bag you get, you know, it comes in like that little netting. I think it's pretty standard, that little bag of clementines you can get. And those were um, $2.69. I got a small container of white sliced mushrooms. Those were $1.39. I usually slice them myself. It's, I know it's not big, that big of a price difference, but I usually try and save a few cents there and buy the ones that are not sliced already and just slice them myself but they didn't have any this week so i just got the the white sliced mushrooms and i needed those for a pork chop um, like a mushroom pork chop recipe that i'm making this week i got a bag of uh, ranch um, flavored aldi brand tortilla um, you know like doritos but the aldi brand those were only 75 cents i got a container of vanilla chocolate chip ice cream uh, vanilla chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream that was only $1.95 for a half a gallon I got two loaves of white bread. Those were 65 cents each. And that was everything I bought at Aldi this week. So the grand total for my Aldi shopping trip was $96 and 10 cents. Um, so then we're gonna, I'll, go, I'll tell you what I got at BJ's next, but I just wanted to tell you a really funny story. While I'm at Aldi, I get there and it's like 4.35 about, I guess, when I got there. I worked till four o'clock and um, I got to Aldi like 4.35 and I totally forgot that during the pandemic, they're now closing at five o'clock. So I got there at 4.35. They, I walk in, they're like, just a reminder, we're closing at five. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, they're closing at five means I can shop until five. But in their mind, and I guess whatever the rules they follow or whatever means, they basically want everyone out of the store at five. So I'm going around trying to get my stuff and even though I had my list of exactly what I needed it still felt so crazy like everything I was looking at I was like oh my gosh I gotta hurry up I gotta hurry up every aisle everywhere I went and then this the workers kept coming in the aisles like shouting telling you 10 minutes left five minutes left we need you at the checkout it was just like so crazy i felt like i was on the supermarket sweep show like trying to rush through there grabbing what i needed so it was just kind of a funny aldi story i felt like i was under this immense pressure to get out of there on time and then um once i got online and i put everything up all of a sudden it occurred to me that i didn't grab the ice cream that my daughter asked for i didn't have it on my list because i didn't plan on getting ice cream but she had called like right before I was on my way to the store. Can you get ice cream? So um, I, uh, it occurred to me I didn't grab the ice cream. So I said to the cashier, can I please just run and grab an ice cream real quick? And she said, okay. So I ran back. I grabbed the ice cream, got back to my checkout, and they got us out of there on time. But I just thought that was kind of funny because it's just how strange things are now during this Okay, uh, so after I went to Aldi, I went to but BJ's. Anyways, so I always I'm go to Aldi uh, first because I get the most of my Aldi, stuff there and I usually only need a few things at BJ's. at BJ's. And I always swing by um, and get gas first when I go to BJ's because they have really good gas prices and if you use like the BJ's card, you get, I forget, like an extra 10 cents off or something like that. And I, I always do that and I, of course, I pay the card every month so I'm not... Um, getting charged extra interest for saving that 10 cents, but I um, I get gas, that's kind of my routine, then I run into BJ's. So what I got at BJ's this week was I needed um, shampoo. So we didn't, again, we didn't need it yet. I try and always get it before we need it, like when I know we're using a, a new one and then you know in a certain amount of time, a few weeks, we're gonna wind up needing one. That way, if I need to pull that item out of the budget for this week to stick to our $150 amount, I can say, okay, we're gonna skip the shampoo this week. I'll try and grab that next week. But anyway, I was able to fit it in this week. So that was $6.99. And that was one of those like big like pump size um, shampoos, like the uh, 
herbal essence. It's like kind of like the big giant tall one. Again, I don't know the size of it, but I think you could probably picture it. It's like that big giant one that has like the pump on the top. So that was $6.99. I also got um, the, uh, oh, what the heck was this? The three pack. Shoot, I can't remember what the heck this was. Oh, right, pizza. I got, um, they have like this vegetable, like wood fired vegetable pizza. It's like a three pack, like frozen pizzas. That was eleven forty nine. It's pretty good. I'll use that for once in a while on the weekend if we just want to throw in like a pizza for a quick meal. And then I got, um, I think it's a three, I think you get three of them. Um, turkey bacon, you get like three or four, um, but we like the Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. So I got, um, I got like a three or four pack of those. I don't remember exactly if it's three or four, but it's seven dollars and forty nine cents. So it's a pretty good deal, and that makes for a pretty cheap meal. We'll do like breakfast for dinner if I need to squeeze in um, a cheaper meal to try and stick to budget. So that's seven forty nine. It's at least three meals or maybe four. I can't remember. So if you figure that's like the main meat and then I'll just do like eggs and potatoes with it. So that makes for a really cheap meal. I got a gallon of milk, 1% milk. That was $2.96. I got a three pound bag of bananas. That was $1.29. And I got a package of boneless pork chops. That was $12.50. Oh, I wish I wrote down the, the um, size of that. Let's see, I'm, I'm guessing it was probably like around five pounds or so, like five or six pounds. I know when I brought it home, I divided it into two packages, so that'll definitely give us two meals out of that. And they were like the thicker ones, so they were probably a little bit cheaper. I usually get the thin ones, but they didn't have them, but I'll just slice them myself. I got um, a thing of Swiss cheese and a thing of ham, just like at the deli they have where you can go up and grab your own, um, or not your own, but you know, they have like the pre-sliced, like where they've, it's the deli meat, but they've already cut it. And it's like kind of in the little refrigerator area there. So you could just grab it and not have to wait online. So I usually just kind of try and see what they have in there and just grab like some meat and some cheese just to have some lunch meat in the house. So I got some Swiss and I got some ham and the ham actually had a coupon on it for a dollar. And BJ's during the pandemic is now doing like all clipless coupons, which is kind of cool because even if you didn't know there was a coupon, it comes off your receipt anyway because they don't want people exchanging, um, you know, handing the coupons back and forth. I always use the BJ's app for the coupons anyway. If you shop at BJ's and you don't have the app, you should get it. It's really cool because they have their digital coupons. So you can look through and see um, what's on sale or, you know, what there's a coupon for that period that you're shopping and you add it to the app. And then when you pay, it automatically takes it off your order. So you don't have to remember to make sure you have the coupon with you or anything like that. So I really like that. So anyway, so that's all I got at BJ's this week. Um, my grand total that I spent at BJ's was 49.12. So when you take the 49.12 plus the 96.10 that I spelt it, spent at Aldi, came to $145.22. So we came just about almost $5 under budget. So I was really happy about that this week because it's been really challenging um, coming in on budget lately just because of it's so crazy. Like you don't know what you're going to be able to get. Um, you know, I, I went one week and you just needed chicken and it was like not an ounce of chicken in the store. And then I was trying to get turkey bacon a couple weeks in a row, probably like three weeks and they never had that. Um, just like so many weird things that you just can't get. Oh, I was planning on getting a um, big package of toilet paper at BJ's this week, which would have probably been, I think, around $15. So I probably would have had to cut out maybe some of those other extras that I talked about that I wound up getting. But, and I might, or I, or I even may have wound up coming in maybe $10 over budget if I did get all those other things. But anyway. BJ's didn't have toilet paper, so I didn't get that this week. So that's still on my list. So next week, I'll have to probably come in a little bit lower on some other items so that I can get the big thing of toilet paper because we're going to start running low again soon. And you never know when you can get it. So I keep looking out for it right now. And then uh, I'll get it as soon as I can. So that's it. We met the budget. I'm going to try and do a check-in every week. And I'm really hoping that maybe this will keep you motivated to sticking to your budget. I don't know if maybe hearing the prices and how many things I got. I'm hoping that that'll help, but um, I'm going to do this for a while and see if you guys like this. All right. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.